Hello, my name is Luke, and this is how you can ace the TMUA. So what is the TMUA? The TMUA is comprised of two sections. Section one is mathematical thinking, and section two is mathematical reasoning. Both sections are 75 minutes long and comprised of 20 questions each. This means you get an average of three minutes and 45 seconds per question. The content of the TMUA is exactly the same as the CTMUA. However, the CTMUA is administered by Cambridge and your results are shared directly with them. So who accepts the TMUA? University of Bath, Cardiff University, Durham University, University of Nottingham, Lancaster University, University of Sheffield, LSE, University of Southampton, and University of Warwick. When is it sat? The TMUA is usually sat in early November. In 2020, it was sat on the 5th of November. This was online, but usually it will be sat in person in an example on paper. So how should you revise? Revise early. It's important you start revising in the summer before you sit the test, if not before. To prepare, you should first go over the A-level syllabus. The website specifies that you only need to know first year A-level maths. However, as syllabi vary, you might need to know some second year A-level maths. So it's worth checking the specification to see if you don't know anything. Read the specification. There may be stuff you haven't covered depending on how your school teach A-level maths. If you've learned further maths, this can be very beneficial in the test, but not necessary. You basically only need to know pure maths, so there's no point revising mechanics. Although probability can come up, so it's worth you do touch on statistics. Know your formula. The test requires that you memorize certain formula and methods to be able to complete all the questions. The following may come up. Basic differentiation and integration. Binomial expansion. Coordinate geometry and circles. Trigonometric identities and certain sine, cos and tan values. Your log laws. Completing the square. The sums of arithmetic and geometric series. Know your logic. For section two, you'll be asked about logic. You will need to know how to use true and false statements, how to use and and or as they are very different in maths. The converse of a statement, the contrapositive of a statement, the words necessary, sufficient, and the terms for all, for some, and there exists. I would recommend you do every past paper more than once. You shouldn't leave all of the past papers until the week before the exam. I would recommend doing a past paper before you revise for the test so you know where your strengths and weaknesses lie. You shouldn't worry if you can't do all the questions the first time around. I remember the first time I tried paper one, I could only do nine questions in the 75 minutes. You should try and revise for similar tests if you run out of content. For instance, the question one on the matte paper is very similar to the format of the TMUA. The UK MT questions are also very good to revise from as they're also multiple choice. You might even wanna try step one papers. They might be a bit challenging, but they will definitely prepare you for the TMUA. It's also definitely worth signing up to as many online courses as you can. State run schools will often offer many courses for free. AMSP run a TMUA course every year that is completely free to attend. There is also a very useful website called StepMaths, which offer a very good TMUA course. This course is expensive, but my school offered it to me for free. So it's worth trying to contact your school to see if they'll do the same. Scoring. On the website, it says approximately one third of people get above a 6.5. This isn't true anymore. Over the years, it's been made progressively harder to get higher scores as there have been more applicants for the test. I believe that this year, approximately 25% people got above a 6.5. However, lots of universities will still require that you get a 6.5 on this test for reduced offers. For instance, Durham sees 6.5 overall as a pass. The TMUA is scored on a scale of one to nine. High scores are capped at nine. Don't expect to get a nine, less than 1% of people get a nine each year. A nine is never required by any university, even Cambridge. My final advice would be that this is not an easy test. Universities will understand if you don't score that well, especially if you have a strong academic profile. I'll be happy to reply to any questions in the comments. Make sure to also check out my video on the CTMUA. Thanks for watching and good luck.